Hey everybody, Wally Renee here from the Mod Institute. Welcome to this little clinical guide on how we could create internal irrigation into our surgical guides. One of the universal and critical problems associated with implant failure is thermal damage at the drilling site, which can inhibit bone regeneration leading to osteocyte uh, denigration, hyperemia, uh, fibrosis, necrosis, and delayed healing, and ultimately could lead to implant failure. Um, so, you know, when we use our traditional drills that don't have drill drills with internal irrigation and we're using standard um, hookup to the handpiece, a lot of the uh, irrigant is reflected off of the, of the guide. Um, many people have created, you know, unique little holes and things that you could kind of have an assistant uh, inject irrigation um, through the guide and things like that. But this is the solution that we've created at the Mod Institute that's kind of a, a unique um, evidence-based approach. So we did a study looking at bovine shin bones, which have the um, thermal properties most associated with human bone. Um, and we added an irrigation port to one side, and we used K-type thermal couplers. And we didn't add an irrigation port to the other side, but we did use drill irrigation. So we added two K-type thermal couplers at two different heights in the osteotomy site. Um, these are probe tip thermal couplers. And we also looked at um, near infrared thermal imaging to look at drill temperature, drill bit temperature. And what we found was quite alarming. Now, granted, we were at about 1400 RPMs for the, the osteotomy preparation, but we did find that uh, we were able to decrease temperatures by as much as 30 degrees, but on average 15 to 20 degrees, depending on the density of the cortical plate um, when we did internal irrigation. So, so cool. Okay, so, so we're going to go through, you know, how do we create these ports um, into our surgical guides and then 3D print them so we can hook up the port that normally hooks up to the handpiece, uh, the drill, we're going to hook up to the guide. Because if you look here, um, when you use traditional irrigation through a drill, it's all getting displaced onto the guide and really off of the osteotomy site. So we're not really able to get a good cooling of the osteotomy site. Um, as you can see here, it just sprays everywhere and doesn't really get down into the sleeve um, or more importantly, down into the bone or on the drill as it's drilling the cortical plate or going into the osteotomy site preparation. So we have some issues with standard um, standard guides. And if you had some unexplained implant failures where you just can't really understand why you've had a batch, most likely it's thermogenic in nature where you um, are heating the bone too much. Now there's a few things that you could do. One is I recommend decreasing your drill speed to about a thousand RPMs during osteotomy site preparation. 800 is too slow too much friction, and anything above a 1,000 is too fast. Um, but even as you can see here during um, implant placement, there's no irrigation getting onto the um, implant. And some people like to do implant placement dry. Um, I don't. I like to use um, some irrigation too. And so so here's what we're going to do to solve this, this notorious problem that kind of has gone untalked um, about in, in um, on the podium and at many courses that you see. Um, it's this problem of temperature and increasing heat during osteotomy preparation when you have a surgical guide versus no surgical guide. And so really the way that we get around this problem is we, because we're able to 3D print um, intricate details unlike milling, we're going to create ports that where you hook up the irrigation tube to the surgical guide through a 3D printed port and there's internal channels that will um, basically inject coolant down into the osteotomy site, helping to flush, helping to decrease temperature. So these custom irrigation channels I've been doing for about five years now. Um, I've done a lot of research on it, and I've looked at various different ways to manufacture these, and there's some patents in Europe and some other areas that um, kind of block a lot of ways to create these uh, irrigation ports and actually market them and sell things like this. So we're going to just uh, talk about this in theory. But these are custom injection ports um, are not hard to do if you have some fundamental understanding of how to work in mesh mixer um, because you're taking your STL of your surgical guide that's fabricated on any software 
And it could be Blue Sky, Remexis, Code Diagnostics, uh, Three Shape, um, Exo Plan, wh whatever you're using, SimPlan. And you get that STL of that, that surgical guide. And then you need to now add internal irrigation to it to be able to drop that coolant down below the sleeve, apical to the sleeve, on the, on the side of bone uh, osteotomy site preparation. So. so how do we do this? And is it worth it? You know, is the extra five minutes to put these in going to help? The answer is yes, and I'm going to teach you how to do it fast. So stay tuned, download all the files, and practice and follow along with me.